please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Well, let's uh, hear out an exclusive with uh, Brian Monian, the chairman and CEO of Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, uh, or rather Bank of America, and we're going to wrap up uh, the trading hour as well, halftime report, just after a short break. Start off with good vo with volatility and as people repositioned and. You know, after the holidays, there's always a period of something, and, and you see that people come back and move move their money around. But uh, but it's stabilized, and you know, in the end of the day, the market's going to reflect long term the power of the companies, and they're, they're going to the company's going to reflect the powers of the economy. And as you think about it, you, you know, the, the world economy is growing. It's projected we projected to grow at 3.7 percent for the yes. 2018. The U.S. economy, we project to grow at 2. Uh, seven percent and so you know those are good things and so ultimately the market will reflect that it may bounce around on the way there but it'll ultimately reflect it yes but uh, a, a lot of growth or more than expected growth can also be a bad thing for volatility uh, you know we saw the u.s uh, treasuries 10-year treasuries go all the way to 2.95 uh, is that threat over have uh, the markets got used to higher yields or if 3% or 3.1 were, re were visited, uh, we could once again see volatility. Well, I think the Treasury moves are a lot of factors there. It's, it's what's going on in the markets, a uh, flight to quality, a view of where interest rates are going, a view of inflation, and all that gets factored in. But people have to keep in mind about the U.S. interest rate scenario. Uh, since 1950, when they started quoting the 10-year, if you go back in Bloomberg and look at it, yes. you'll see that across all that time the amount of days it's ever traded under three percent other than in the current period yes. since the uh, 2008 2009 are very few very few so the interest rate environment is very low and and the fed is trying to normalize the you know the, the front end rates yes. as it's so called and the back end rates will reflect that also so i think people take a lot of stock but it's only back to where it was a couple of years ago so it was here two or three years ago 14 i guess it was three years ago uh, now moving to a four and people weren't that excited about then it all comes down to what your views of inflation and growth are and that's what you heard more noise about okay. no that's true I mean uh, but you know we've had low rates for 10 years now uh, probably we have a generation of Treasury guys who haven't seen rates at four uh, percent I mean therefore your thoughts this year at least in 2018 uh, are we likely to see a lot more of uh, uh, you know choppy markets well, it, the reality is, in the United States especially, what you've seen is the duration of recovery is one of the longest known. Yes. And so, you know, people then think that, well, around the corner something has to go wrong, but it, you have to back up and think about what's going on. Unemployment at an all-time low. Wages starting to grow a little faster. Uh, the Tax Act coming in and providing a benefit to companies uh, in both how they conduct business around the world, the territorial part of it, and lower rates in the United States, which have, helps provide more cash flow. Uh, to have uh, to finance activities and so all that is very constructive for the markets well at the same time as usual everybody always worries about what could go yes. wrong and, and that's what they look for and so you'll see momentary ups and downs and we came off a period of unprecedented low volatility Certainly. and unprecedented low rates so the idea of the 10-year moving between two and a half and three is not exactly a high interest rate environment yes. or yeah. the volatility moving back up to more normal levels so watch it play out but the reality is in the end of the day these markets and these things reflect the status of the economies around the world for each of the individual markets and it's pretty constructive we have uh, this year is a pretty okay. constructive uh, okay. year for the, uh, the markets in the United States and around the world okay you know it's just that when rates are too low for too long uh, there would be pockets of asset inflation uh, where might you think uh, uh, you know you can see the first signs of trouble would it be in the credit markets as money becomes expensive or would it be in emerging markets well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be all those things. And so we're going to know after it's all over, we'll look back and say, well, that was a pocket where, rates, where something was overvalued or not. And so when you run a big company like we do, the question is, you know, we, we try to make sure that we're positioned so that no matter what happens next, we're in good shape. And so as we think about it, whether it's our corporate investment banking business, our markets business, our, our consumer businesses, we try to, all things in moderation, run the company with the responsible growth, as we call it, and avoid the uh, pitfalls when, when markets move up or economies move up and down. And that's, that's what we focus on. So I'm not sure what will cause it. I'm not sure what will look back and say that was too high or that was too low. Uh, something will be, but the reality is what you do as a CEO is position your company going into that that nothing is going to hurt it too badly or cause too much trouble.